Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to work on the TensorFlow and Keras using the VS Code editor. VS Code is one of the most popular editor. Though working on Keras APIs using the VS Code is sometimes a very difficult job to do. Importing Keras from TensorFlow and Keras Autocomplete are some of the most common challenges. So let's configure it and let's try to solve all the issues one by one. So first of all, open this URL tensorflow.org slash install slash pip. Now scroll down a little and right here, let's check the versions. So on my machine, Python, pip and virtual environment, these are already installed. So you can install it uh, from here. So currently I'm using the Ubuntu machine, but in your case, if you're using any other version, you could uh, uh, change the options from here. So let me open the terminal. So at the moment I'm using Ubuntu 18.04. So let's check Python version. So in my case, Python version is 3.6.7. Pip3 version is 9.0.1 and virtual environment version is 16.4.3. Now once you install and check the versions, the step number two is to create a virtual environment. So let's create it. I'm just going to copy this particular command and I'm going to run it as such. So your virtual environment name uh, could be any. So let's call it TF. Okay, this is done. So now we need to run this particular command which will activate the virtual environment. So I'm just going to copy this, paste it over here and since our, I'm just going to remove these comments and since our virtual environment name is TF, I'm going to put TF here. So you can see that it has added TF here, which means we are inside the virtual environment, which is TF. Now to deactivate this particular environment, you can say deactivate and you will be out of that. And again, to activate it, you need to say source dot slash TF bin and activate. Now the next thing that you need to do is you need to upgrade the pip. In my case, it's already upgraded. So now let's jump on to the step number three. So right here, if you see, you need to be inside the virtual environment and you need to run this particular command to install the TensorFlow. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it. Only thing I'm going to change is instead of using pip, I'm going to use pip3 because I'm using Python 3 and uh, uh, I'm going to install TensorFlow 2.0. So what I need to do uh, to install TensorFlow 2, just scroll up and go to the top and copy this part. And paste it right here. So the exact command will become pip3 install hyphen hyphen upgrade tensorflow is equal to is equal to 2.0.0 hyphen alpha zero. So remember at this point in time, I am inside my virtual environment, which is TF. Okay, so hit it and it will install TensorFlow 2.0. So in my case, it's already installed. So it has uh, picked it from local environment. So it has done the things pretty quickly. But if you are installing it for the first time, it will definitely take some time. Now let's test it. 
So I'm just going to type Python import TensorFlow as PF and it worked. Now, if I need to check the version of TensorFlow, I can run this particular command here. And you see the version is 2.0.0. So now, uh, the next thing that we need to do is we need to install Keras. So we need to say pip3 install Keras. Again, like uh, it has picked from my local environment because it's already installed on my machine. But in your case, it may take some time. So let's clear it. Now we need to run this thing on the VS Code. So let's open a VS Code editor. Uh, make sure that VS Code should be installed on your machine. But even before that, uh, let me make a directory with the name Keras. And this is where we are going to work. Now let's open the uh, VS Code editor. Now the first thing that you need to do is you need to install one extension for the Python. So from the left hand side click on extensions and search for Python. So this one is already installed on my machine. This one is by Microsoft. Uh, you need to install it. Now after you install the extension uh, Python. The next thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you are working in the virtual environment. In our case, we have already created a virtual environment with the name TF. So at the bottom left, you can see that at the moment we are in the user bin Python 3, which is not our virtual environment. So let's click on it and you can pick your virtual environment from here. So in our case, this one is TF. So you can change the virtual environment this way. Now, if you see it has created a folder with the name .vs code and if you expand it, so you will see settings.json. So this is making sure that we are working in the virtual environment. Now let's create a file with the name test.py and let's say import TensorFlow as TF. Now since we need to work with the Keras, so we'll say from TensorFlow import Keras. Now if you see the moment I write this particular line, the pilot has started giving me error on the from. So it says no name Keras in the module TensorFlow. So this is basically a pilot bug and we need to come over it. We need to resolve it. To resolve this, so let's copy this particular code. I will provide all the links in the description. And let's open the setting settings.json. Put a comma here, paste it and save it. Now, next thing that you need to do is make sure that you put a space here and change this to Keras. Save it. Uh, again, uh, make sure that there is a space before and after the equal sign and change this one to Keras. Now, if you go to test.py, you will find that this particular error is gone. Now, the next challenge for us is the autocomplete for the Keras. So, if I say Keras, dot so nothing is coming up so the reason for this is we installed tensorflow 2.0 and it appears that uh, either there is a bug in the tensorflow 2.0 or something else has gone wrong and this one is not working for us now to overcome this issue 
the temporary solution is to write tensorflow dot python save it and now if i say keras dot so you will see all the autocomplete so if i say datasets dot fashion underscore mnist you will get all the autocomplete so let's say train underscore images train underscore labels and test underscore images and test underscore labels is equal to fashion mnist dot load data so if you see autocomplete is working perfectly here so now let's run the program uh, before that let's close the terminal and open the new terminal from here and you can see that we are in the virtual environment So in my case, MNIST dataset is already uh, downloaded on my machine. So that's a reason it's not showing up anything. What we can do is print. Let's uh, check the length of the uh, test images. And let's run the program again. So you can see that uh, the length of the test images is 10,000. So program is running successfully. I would request you to like my video and subscribe my channel and please do click the bell icon. Thank you.